Well, we're back, but after two years. About a year and a half at least. Camera. <laughs> we were editing on an older computer. <laughs> now we got all the good stuff. So, vlogs are back. Uh, the white snake vlogs. So, today we're going to be doing some big boy stuff with uh, Chris Denunzio. I'll have um, Joel put his shop and everything in this video right here. But he's my super guy. So, we're doing big stuff. So stock bottom end Supra, E85, injector dynamic 1700s. It's got SE1 stage one or stage two cams in it. Single 364 on the manifold. Three inch intercooler, McCloyd, uh, RXT 1200, dual disc clutch, uh, tilt and throw out bearing. Um, should be like 750, 800 horsepower. Like this car eats ass. Like it's, it's legit. And uh, this is my 93. Hard top, six speed, left hand drive. Uh, very rare car, left hand drive, USDM spec. Uh, doesn't get any rarer than this. They only made like 300 of these, so yeah, it's like a very expensive car. This is a target top, so this is a 98 target top, left hand drive, USDM spec, original V160, six speed car, has 111,000. This only has 49,000 miles on it. This is like my retirement car. So anyways, we're gonna go over some stuff. We're gonna be uh, doing the anti-lag today, uh, dialing in the two-step with Chris. It's gonna be a great, great video. So we're excited to show you guys. But anyways, right back. So right now, Chris is on team view. He's saving it. I enjoy a large penis inside me. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Hold on, let me get this over here. Hey, Chris, so just a little heads up for vlog, and so this will be great content. <laughs> yes, untitled. I enjoy large. Bop! Bop! Oh. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Oh, he's. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> New screensaver. Hell oh, yeah. What'd you say? I said, sup, little bitch. He's <laughs> vlogging right now. Oh, he's in the zone. Yeah, Chris is in the zone. <laughs> Chris is vlogging right now. <laughs> Go 
horse riding the whip. Right. Yep. Yeah, that's a lot of power for uh, a little stock bottom end. Anyways, 93 octane, injector dynamic 1000s, some pro tunes from the other side. I wasn't even a pro tune, I don't even say that. Setup. Now we did the big boy stuff with Chris. That's our first hit. So, 93 octane at like, what, 15 pounds is what we used to do? And now we're doing 29 pounds of this. On E85 and 1700s. 300 horsepower. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> God damn. You're like right there in the game. You want me to smack it again to see what she does? Oh yeah. 
was not expecting all that. Holy sh! Oh my god. That was literally fucking. Crazy. Okay. So, first I had to take the ball. What? 7.25, 6.36. We dropped 30 foot pounds of torque. Got almost 40 horsepower. This is to keep the car safe, so. We've been driving it the last month at 760 horsepower, 663 foot pounds. And now we're gonna see what the. Um, let me change the. There's no power. So correction values. Let's go to a standard correction. This will inflate the numbers a little bit. Well, let's see what it does to standard. So, oh. Yeah, standard is going to be 769 horsepower and 670 foot pounds of torque. So that's pretty much what it was doing before, which is very well, very healthy. A little high on torque side for a stock bottom end super. So <laughs> now we're turning it down. Anyways, Gotta make it drivable. Yeah, I make it drivable. I'm going to be doing a rip at 160 and throw a projecto rotto. <laughs> I did kill a pretty gay looking Mustang like three weeks ago. Oh, hell yeah. By a local guy here. Yeah, he fucking chased me down. Shitty Bob? No. Shitty Bill? Shitty Bob. He's got a really bald head. <laughs> Works at the coal mine. <laughs> fucking hate him. He's a piece of shit. Excuse the language on the channel. But anyways, hyped him in this, right? He's got this bro ass. Shelby. Hey, what is that dipshit drive Mustang? Don't do that. It's a GT500. What is it? Blue and gay orange? Blue and red? Yeah, blue and red. Starbucks says it's limited edition. I think it's limited edition gay boy series. I mean, nobody pulls up to a car meet and says, damn bro, look at my Mustang. You know what I mean? Nobody. Just saying, but anyways, Actually, everybody at car meets are afraid of Mustangs. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was a little nervous racing him because I didn't <laughs> want him to take me out. Yeah. But anyways, he chased me down. He took off first, and I was rolling into third, getting ready to smack it, you know, some boost and some anti lag. Dude, just instantaneous. We'll insert the video here. Pulled on him. The big pussy he is. Took his first exit, and then I posted up. He's like, "Well, let me know when you want to race real next time." I was like, "Dude, you literally took the first exit. Like, if you wanted to run it back, we would have ran it back, right?" But fucking people nowadays. That's why Jalez gay. Every yeah. car in this town slow. Like, seriously. If you do watch my videos and I don't like you and you live in Gillette, just come to the shop and we'll race for fucking cash, seriously. Instead, all you guys do is talk shit on the internet. Sorry, I just off a little rant here. It's been a while since I've been on the internet. Money um, talks. Yeah, but this is gonna go in a month to Chris to get a 3-4 stroker. It'll probably be 12 to 1400 horsepower. It's set up for roll racing. It's not set up for obstacle courses. It's not set up for dig racing. It's set up to roll race. You want a dig race? You got this? You got the single cab, and you got the four-wheel drive diesel truck. I mean, I wouldn't want to get beat by a diesel truck from a dig. That's pretty embarrassing, and I did it to all you guys before. But anyway, like I said, we're on a positive note here. We're with Chris. We're dialing up the E85, pulling a lot of timing out of it because it's way too much. It's running on E85, which is corn fuel, 72% ethanol. Really clean, really nice fuel efficient car. Um, and it gets fucking down. Like, it gets down. That's my girl. The old stock girl over there. Old stocky. She only does like 16 or 17. She's nice though. Yeah. But anyways, it's a good number. Good number. 725. He wants to get the torque almost down to like 600 horsepower. Or the torque down to 600, sorry. 600 foot pounds. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. But regardless of that, pretty happy. Pretty happy with it. it makes me feel really good. Noise cancellation headphones. Chris had to take a call with a customer, so I'm off the phone with him now, so we're just waiting and letting this cool down a little bit. But, yeah, pretty happy with it. So, some more modifications. It's an original V160, original six-speed car with the original transmission in it. Originally built by Freed, and it did like 450 horsepower, whether it wasn't that crazy, and then me and Starbucks did a bunch of stuff to it over this winter. 
as I mentioned, the McCloyd RXT 1200 Tilton hydraulic throw out, um, the Willwood uh, master cylinder right here, uh, Michimoto or some low high performance radiator. I don't even know. I'm not really a big car guy. Did the timing belt, the gates, uh, blue timing belt. It's got Freed Engineering long tube manifold, 364, so it's actually a really small turbocharger. Um, original engine, it's got 100,000 miles on it. Uh, the heads are original, obviously the heads have been off. Put cams in it, SU1 stage 2s. That's why it idles all choppy, it sounds really cool. Uh, radium, complete fuel system, regulate, uh, regulator, radium rail, injector dynamic 1700, 60 millimeter. Uh, Throttle bodies, or uh, bodies, whatever you want to call them. I'm new to this gas stuff, so don't beat me up on the internet too much. <laughs> Getting into it, so layout. <laughs> Half inch supply, two Walbro 450s uh, in the pump, radium in tank pump, half inch supply back, and it's got a 91 and an E85 flex fuel. So I can put 91 in it, it'll do about 10 to 15 pounds of boost, and then I put E85 in it, whenever ethanol percentage rating, that's pretty much what it does. Our boys back. So